Before the second speaker, I would like to invite Dr. Nina Gao or Gao Xieling. I'm not quite sure I pronounce correctly <laughs> or not. She is a CEO OC Medical Mission Center, Chang Hua Christian Hospital. Uh, I would like to invite her to mention about our collaboration on uh, health technical and knowledge uh, development because uh, Division of Nursing and Changhua Christian Hospital or CCS have uh, signed in OU since 2019 and we have a good collaboration. Uh, we provide seminar and conference that we join together. So please, uh, Dr. Nina Gao uh, give some uh, speech before and introduce our speaker, Dr. Chang Su Chen, for us, please. Okay, thank you, Samadika. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to join today's online workshop for the Young Nurse Development Program. First of all, I would like to thank Nursing Division, Dr. Urai Prong, to invite Jama Christian Hospital to join today's an online program to share our experience and the best practice of in customer center service of Taiwan. And John Christian Hospital has very good relationship as um, um, our moderator um, mentioned. Um, we have very good relationship with nursing division and we also co-host a couple of seminars since 2019, we signed the MOU. So we share the experience and the knowledge for each other and learn from each other in different areas, such as the nurse education, long-term care, and how important of nurse in fighting pandemic. And today, our uh, nurse department director, Dr. Susan Zhang, and we are highlight the customer oriented in nursing service and the best practice at John Christian Hospital. And Dr. Susan has been the nursing director of John Christian Hospital for almost 20 years. And she received her master's degree in community health nursing at the University of Michigan, United States, and finished her PhD degree in nursing department of um, Kaohsiung Medical University of Taiwan. So Susan is also one of the directors of the Taiwan Nursing Association. She is also an instructor in colleagues and universities to share her experience and cultivate more outstanding the nursing staff. So Dr. Susan will share the best practice nursing innovation to make life better. Susan, the floor is yours, please. Good afternoon, everyone. And it's my honor to share our experience in Zhanghua Christian Hospital. And before I speak, I would like to introduce our hospital. Um, our hospital is in central Taiwan, and we also have six branch hospitals. And today I will introduce and share the experience basically for the main uh, general tertiary hospital and our children hospital. And our hospital was uh, founded from 1896. So last year we have already um, celebrated our 125 years old ceremony. And then because uh, there is a very uh, loving story about skin graft with love, I will introduce that later. Here is my outlines for today, why we have to talk about innovations and then give you some creative examples from our nursing department and also some take home messages. Our hospital was built uh, for mainly serving people and preaching gospels in the name of Jesus Christ, the loving savior of the world. We have five missions to provide medical care, evangelism, and also serve for the poor and provide education and research. And we have four spirits. It's all from love, love the Lord, love the land, and love the people and love ourselves. And because of the firing, um, Doctors, nurses, and pastors, they came, they came to Taiwan uh, since uh, 100 years ago. They're selflessly devoting and humbly serving uh, also our CCH values. And what is our nursing core value and missions in our CCH hospital? And the core is we see our responsibilities on patients' needs. And then the mission is the same as the hospital. 
and we also have vision to building a patient-centered excellent nursing care. And like the previous speech, uh, the speaker said, it can be patient-centered, can be patient-family-centered, and then it also can be custom-centered. And there are six M's from the high-quality healthcare framework. You can see avoid injury to the patient. It's very important to talk about patient safety. And also patient-centered care provided respectful and responsive to individual patient needs. And what is the ideal safety hospital? From my experience, I always ask myself, when I or my family are sick, will I go to this hospital? Or if I work in, in this hospital, am I protected? And then many years ago, I was um, asking by a, a nursing leaders, very senior leaders says, um, am I a leader to protect my nursing staff? And then at that time I was thinking, oh, okay, I should ask myself all the times, what or how should I do to make my patient and my nursing staff more safe? So a safe hospital should be not just patient safety, but also employee nursing staff safety. And, and also there's a, a belief like, uh, do, do you think people make a difference? No matter from the nursing students, from the employee in different levels of the hospital, each person can help to ensure a safe environment where high quality care is the norm. So for example, if you see the water spill on the floor, what will you do? Will you go to uh, take the cleaning uh, staff to clean the uh, floor? Or will you just go and tell the head nurse to say, hey, the water was spilled on the floor. Someone can have to be help. So actually, every day in our nursing station, in our hospital, we have to make sure each place is safe. And then talk about the needs, uh, Maslow hierarchy needs, let, let us understand the basic is for physiological, but also for the uh, higher will be self-actualization. So keep this in our mind to see what we are uh, going to meet the patient's needs or the family needs. And then in the nursing departments, we have 17 nursing leaders uh, consider us uh, nursing supervisors, but we also have 53 nursing units. So I have more than 60 nursing uh, head nurse and also a city head nurse. They are all very important uh, in our department. We implant um, nursing informatics also to help our uh, nursing clinical work. So this is our structure. You can see for a clinical nursing care, but also managerial project development also. As a nursing leader, what should we do? So I, we ask ourselves, because in on CCH, the whole branch hospital, the whole healthcare uh, system, we have more than 3,800 nurses. But in the main hospital, we have around 2,000 nursing staff. Our job is to provide holistic care to the patient, but also we have to ask, do we also provide our own spirit and then our profession? How can we find our profession image and our own value? It is especially we are a Christian hospital where we provide spiritual nursing care to our patients. And right now I will introduce the love story of skin graft. A long time ago, there was a little kid. Uh, he he has a damage in his leg. And then uh, Dr. Dansba wants to do a skin graft, but he needs the skin. Who will provide the skin? So he asked about his wife, Mrs. Landsberger. And then he cut his wife's skin to do the first surgery. Unfortunately, the surgery was uh, failed. But then the second time, the Dr. Dansba used the kids own skin and then do and then do the surgery and this time it succeed but afterwards the kids said although uh, mrs Landsberger's skin did not keep in my leg but her love is deeply stored in my mind and when he grew up he became a pastor and served in the church i still remember when i first when i came to the hospital our former president dr huang told us Remember, you are not an ordinary person, and also you are not coming to an ordinary hospital. You are coming to Zhanghua Christian Hospital, 
this is a love hospital, and we are treasure of God. Not just the、uh, nursing staff employee only, but all the people who came to the hospital are treasure of God. And talk about the Florence Nightingale. Maybe I will, and、uh, some of you maybe know. And then today I want to remind the new era of nursing image. What is the best nurse? As the nurse should be trust, and we can also observe details through the environment. And then also the psychosocial, emotional parts of the our patient or customer we provide services, and also we have a heart to serve others, and we also do active learning. And the most important thing is the mission we want to do.、Uh, whenever there is a need, we will say, "I will, I will go and provide care." And then here is another love story.、Uh, there is a nurse on my. Mar journey working from、uh, England, and then he she came to Taiwan, and then in 1934, at that time she came, she was young, and then she is a nurse of the OR nurse, and then but because at that time Taiwan's the atmosphere and the environment is not so good, and then so actually she got sick after she came around half an years later. And she, before she died, she said, "Because of love, I'm here, and love not let me go, and in love, let you endless be." So she buried in Taiwan, and then her story also.、Uh, in 2005, we have a first and the only、um, playground、uh, of the ch- children hospital, and then we name after this uh, love um, story of the、uh, OR nurse. And then we also inherited is very important. So at that time, we International、uh, Nursing Day, we invited the ninety、um, years old、uh, midwifery. She has working with Dr. Lansberger. She came back, and then we also have middle aged and also young,、uh, just newcomer nurses, different generations. But we all provide nursing care in our hospital, and we do come back together and do some memorizing. And right now, I will continue to give some creative examples. Like we said, each time why we in in make innovation because there is a crisis or difficulties or we see problems. But in Chinese, all saying say if there is a crisis, and there is always chance to improve. And when you meet uh, um, uh, critical uh, or difficulties, will you quit? Or you keep trying, and you have to ask yourself: Don't quit, keep trying. And I want to share the、uh, story about Master Ma Chang. Of the, it's a、uh, he is a lung cancer terminal patient.、Uh, he stay in the hospital, and then he told his wife, "I want to play Ma Chang." And then Ma Chang is a game、uh, have to be play with in four men, four people, and. Most of the nurses think it's not possible because in the hospital we don't we don't p- allow patient to play mahjong. But th- this one, Miss May, she is very special nurse. She is、uh, she heard the wish of the patient and she tried to borrow a mahjong game, and then she also want to find someone, but no one wants to play or、uh, have the courage to play. But finally, she invited three intern. Doctor students to play with the patient, so you can see patient was very satisfied and also thumbs up, and then the patient died within one week. The patient's wife says, only this a nurse she heard the wish of the her her husband, and she make the dream comes true. And here's another story of a single and lonely middle aged man. He is he always、uh, tell them. People, he is useless. He doesn't know why he's still alive. He he didn't know why he lives because he didn't see any hope. But then the nurse and the、uh, team, the care team together, uh, uh, it's also、uh, the Chinese、um, uh, Dragon Ball Festival period, the the time. So they get some make some、uh, set chat. They give the man and then. He give、uh, the gift to the patient, to the nurses, and also he、uh, say some blessing words. And indeed, finally, he found.、Uh, he said, 
I can send blessing to others. I am not a useless people. So this is very small things we can do, but when we have done it, the it's very uh, meaningful for the patients. And we also say nursing is an art, not just the science, but also an art. So you know when the kids come to the hospital, when they have the uh, injection, usually it's a hurt experience and usually they will cry. But our uh, nursing staff, they draw um, pictures and then cartoon uh, to the patient's hand and when there they have the ejection. So I still remember my daughter uh, live in the hospital and when I came to see her, she told me, hey mom, See, I got a cell phone, the, the nursing sister, they made for me. So she didn't complain about how hard, hurt of the uh, injection experience, but she just told me how, how lucky she is she has the cell phone. And because of the uh, sharp uh, disposal device, hepat uh, I have to say uh, needle injury is also more um must be say it's often accidents in in the hospital also. So we invented this to re to do sharp disposal device to protect and then so the needle will not uh, leave on the bedside. And we also have uh, to do the recap. See this? We usually teach the students and um, the nurses to do recap, but then we invented this. They we no longer to have to recap. It's much more safe for the patient, but also safe for the nurse. And we also have the second generation. It's because we have different size of the needles. So we look at these, look like Mickey Mouse. It's two small size and then a bigger one size. It's because of different size of the needle. And we also apply for the patents. And in the intensive care units, actually the patient have many tubes on their body. And then it's very difficult to change clothes. So our nurses, they also think, oh, how can we change clothes easily? So we invented this uh, uniform, patient uniform. You can see with, with it's easy to wear and then easy to take off. You can see the bottom here and bottom here. And also we have the pants. It's also when they use this, it's not just protect the patient warm, keep them warm, but also it's very easy to move. So you can see different uh, tube and then still they all fix very well. And then you, when you change the clothes, you will not um, by accidentally to move out to the tube. Okay, right now I want to share something about children hospital. We all design from a children point of view and the architecture also combined the Bible story. You can see these, the big boat, and then the 12, the many animals. We, we have Chinese dentactic pattern of 12 uh, different animals. This year is the year of tiger. So you can see it's all, it's the atmosphere and the environment is very uh, friendly to the child. And when the child come to the hospital, and we also know they are afraid of syringe, but the nurses, uh, we all nurses is very creative and, and smart. They use the syringe to build a Disneyland castle. And not just the Disneyland castle, they actually they made up many plans, different uh, housing stuff, toys. So the children will feel less scary to the hospital. And about the pen assessment, you can see the kids, the nurse play with the kids first. Actually, they, it's a it's a wing wheel. They can play, but then you can you see uh, there are different faces. This pen assessment tool. Uh, if the pay, if the kids is uh, don't if we, if she or he feel hurt, she will not maybe give a ang angry or crying uh, face. If she, he's okay, we will, we will point out a smiling face. And he's, these are all made by our nursing staff. It's also a pen assessment for another one. Here is the hammer, hammer, and then the different faces. So they, we also play with the kids and they, they can uh, kick on the, the um, face when they feel they are pen or not pen or a little pen. Okay, and then we also have uh, the environment design for the play area and for preschool. We also have painting area. They can use pen to uh, draw their pictures in this uh, blank hall wall. And then we also have school age to cho uh, children. They we provide a uh, study desk and chairs so they can uh, after during the treating uh, period of time, but they also can study. And 
Another crisis is we have uh, accidents for finger. Uh, the little kids put their finger into the uh, door gap. So get hurt. So we report uh, accidents uh, issue. But then we, because of this issue, we start to think how can we improve. So then we discuss with the hardware uh, de uh, department. So we made a soft close a closed door. So you can see in here it's plastic one and soft one. So children finger never and no longer to be hurt by this new uh, design uh, door. And we also see uh, children. Um, play uh, close to our nursing working card. So you can see these are sharp disposable uh, device. So we also uh, made the cover to cover the hole so the, pa the little kid's patient will not hurt by uh, put their fingers or hands to uh, the, the, the box. And we also have many wheelchair and uh, baby stroller. Before we purchase, we will have um, uh, them to uh, evaluate by the fall prevention center. So then it would much safer for our clients. And we also um, provide many reading materials to the kids. So even for the children, we have uh, Chinese phonetic alphabets uh, on this uh, reading material. So if the kids is in undergraduate uh, or not undergraduate in the elementary school they 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 know the alphabets then they can read by themselves also and also how to let the children practice before the treatment for instance instance they put the uh, stethoscope to the children to listen to the uh, baby toy and we use the bear to do the uh, intravenous injection so let the uh, little kids uh, to know how the process will be done and then they will feel more calm when they really uh, have this uh, treatment. And we also value child and family members opinion, just like say a uh, family centered or patient centered. So we have many uh, a family support group, our family forum, and just invited all the family members and the patient uh, together to listen to their voice about um, no matter uh, any issues they are care about for hospital environment or medical service program, even the child diet, a uh, diet or facility. And it's very important because we got many, many uh, good suggestions through this uh, group. So it's it also make our hospital much, much more safer and better. And also we do our best to try best to make the child dreams come true. For instance, many uh, uh, cancer patients, uh, the little kids, when they stay in the hospital, they may celebrate their last birthday uh, celebration or party. We just can uh, do a lot of that uh, activity. And the last, uh, the left side, this one, it's a teenager, a uh, little lady. And then she wants to have a wedding dress uh, photos because she knows she may not make it and she may not have a chance to wear this. So we try to connect with the community resources and then we ask a photographer to come and take the photos. And after the some kids died, and then we also have funeral reception. It's like a farewell um, party um, with the family members. And during the some important uh, ho holiday seasons, we also do the home visits, and we also have grief counseling service um, because some parents or even the siblings um, they still feel grief, so they need some help. So we have supported. Here is one pay uh, one later from feedback from the child's uh, family to the uh, medical and the nursing staff team. Uh, you can see from these letters, she say, uh, along the way, before actually before the kids got sick, we didn't know each other, but along the way, we did feel the love and care from all of your healthcare team, so that my daughter can go through the journey of life without any regrets. So he, uh, she, her parents, uh, the mom and the brothers uh, say, it's wonderful to have all of you. Thank you very much. Sometimes you can see you just give a hug, but the hug is very important. Okay, now we change to the senior 
uh, elderly people uh, services for the outpatient clinic. In Changhua Christian Hospital, we also in the outpatient clinic, we have, these are all the process. They see the doctor, make a registration and payment, and then do some exams, check up, and finally take drug back home. But through this whole process, I will, I want to say we have some uh, loving ideas for the elderly. Um, but because we have from our big data, our elderly, uh, we have basically for 85 years old or the 80 years old, it's much older, older. So they, when they register, they will have a um, red color for these aged people. So the doctors will know, and then they will um, have some, have see them uh, much more uh, quicker. And also for the uh, hardware design, when we have special, like you can see the wheelchair, the elderly, and then a high uh, fall risk, fall risk uh, people, we have a special uh, wind counter for them. And then we, so when they make an appointment or when they uh, do the exam, you can see these are all special uh, reminding for them. And then the, here is the pharmacy. They have a special counter for the elderly. And then we also have integrated geriatric outpatient clinics because we know um, elderly may have uh, multiple special uh, pro problems. So we have, in when they come to this uh, clinic, they will uh, have combined their different uh, specialty doctor to work in together to uh, see, to give the uh, treatment. And especially if they eat a lot of medications, medicine, then we will also ask pharmacists to cooperate working together. And here is the uh, some medical equipment for safety, like the wheelchair, this is standing uh, weight and seat weight scale. And we also have one accident because uh, the elderly bring the uh, umbrella, it's like a walker. And then when he come to the doctor office and then he didn't put the umbrella well, so he actu actually really fall down. So we make a small change and then just uh, create a small hole in, in on the desk. So each desk, and so when they came, they can put the umbrella very safety and then they also can sit still. And some senior, they cannot read uh, clear or hear it clear. So we have some uh, glasses or even the magnifying lens and also personal sound amplification uh, helpers. And also for our senior um, educational uh, materials, we also have checklist. We After we uh, design the um, education material, we will ask seniors to uh, pre proofreading for this, for the land, land words or the language or even the uh, word size. So uh, before we have 14 fonts, then we 16 fonts. And now we we ask the, uh, for the elderly, we are 18 fonts size. So here uh, it's not just because of the material uh, only, but also we want the material can be easily read by the elderly. And I think the previous a speaker also says talk about in Taiwan. Actually, we have many uh, caregivers from foreigners, and from our big data, we uh, have some do some statistics. And right now, we have Chinese men, uh, Taiwanese, and also we have Indonesia, uh, Vietnamese, and then so uh, you can uh, they can uh, scan the QR code, and then they will make multiple uh, media connection, or they can download um, different languages. And so this is for our um, uh, prevention for uh, material. And we also have do some uh, self-evaluation questions to let them uh, doing better. Okay, and right now I will put a video to show you our integrated care uh, center for dementia patient our, in our medical world. Changhua Christian Hospital established a dementia care area in Ward 83 this unit focuses on neurology and rehabilitation. The occupancy is between 90 to 95 percent. There is a special ward for dementia with integrates retro style into medical care. Delay the deterioration of dementia. Brightly colored handrails on both sides of the corridor. Red brick wall sticker on the wall. 
bright colors allows the demented elders see more clearly. Promote spatial cognition and visual senses of demented elders. The use of handrails to prevent falls. Elders with dementia remember those good old days. But forget the things just happened to them. Old photos on the wall represents what that generation has experienced. When they see these photos, and their mood will be more stable, nostalgic treatment effect has been achieved. The ward number is marked on the door plate. Place of residence is clearly marked in large letters. With security system at the front door, to help them find their way. Non-slip flooring in the bathroom. Installation of the armrest beside the toilet. Safety armrests and storage seats in the shower area. Washing hands at the sink safely. Avoid dazzling patterns on the walls. A calendar with clear large print. One of the most eye-catching features is the nostalgic Kanzai store. Plum cakes and sour plum lollipops are placed on the counter, showcasing antiquities such as thermos, pots, and pans. Set up a box office for the Changji Grand Theater, a major movie theater. Corridor filled with old posters, with artists from previous eras. Painted movie poster, nostalgic posters enhance the impression of demented elders. Okay, so from this uh, VCR, you can see uh, how we uh, think about dementia patient, their uh, special uh, needs, and then we want to uh, protect them. And then for the pandemic, I want to show you because in the when this starts uh, two years ago, actually we don't have enough um, masks. So we actually, our nurses, we all come back and then we just made it very quickly by ourselves to provide frontline nurses needs. And afterwards, then we have buy enough supplies. Okay, and then here is another. For nursing innovation during the pandemic, we also have a um, robot. And because we, we don't want the nurse to go inside to the isolation room too often, but we also don't need to uh, help the um, uh, patient in the isolation room. So it's also a com combined innovation. Okay, and afterwards, I will introduce some informatic things. Okay, here are some uh, history we have developed, developed. We do literature review, and then we design, and then with the uh, informatic personnel, and then we test and educate. I will give three projects to improve to experience to you. Since 2010, we start. Actually, we have buckle medication and recording system from 10, 2010. And then you can see for the, especially for chemotherapy agents, it's very uh, complex. So we use the computerized uh, recording to remind our nursing staff. And also we have to do some uh, patient uh, side effects evaluation setup. And then they, the nurse, even the young nurse, they can easily to uh, do step by step and then they don't lost or keep uh, behind. And then we can, after they do the evaluation, then we will set up a patient's nursing care problems and care plan. It is much um, better for the nursing care. And we also published. And you also can see we decrease medication error rates. And we also have electronic whiteboard information system. Before, we have a really whiteboard, and we write a lot of information on the board. And we also have two turning board table because all the uh, admission information, discharge information, or transfer information is all from these two tables. And we integrate it to the electronic whiteboard information system. So for the nursing staff, they can easily to see the patient's needs for high those who are high uh, fall risk patient and then who someone they need suction a machine and then we also have severity of patient illness we have three levels so if there is really an emergency we have to very quickly to uh, distinguish who is the level one needs the fully help we also uh, can provide this of doctors and uh, interdisciplinary uh, staff and then easily to approach and we also can check the 
uh, nursing bed usage from the these white whiteboards. So you can see that all the information uh, make the nursing much more easier to do patient uh, arrangements. And also, if there is really an emergency, we can easily uh, figure out the severity level way. And before we have we have to print out the paperwork and then to see who is A, who is B, who is C. But right now we only uh, push one button, then we will know where is the level A. We also invented uh, alarm lights. So for the level A patient, they will also have lights uh, sparkling over there. So it's still easy for us to see them. We also have critical patient transportation route on the computer also. It's because we have accidents because the nurse didn't know clear the routes. So then we now make every station uh, the connection from the station to the ICU. Okay, so it's really cost effective. Afterwards, we save money, not just for the paper decrease, but also the hours of the workers for nursing, for doctor, even for clerk. We also have nursing care communication platform, a mobile station. It, you can see many information and we can, people, because like we know nursing is very busy on the war, on the floor. So when patient wants to find us, they have to call us. They just push the button and we can, we can be catched. And we also have all the program on the uh, mobile phone. So after these all helped, and also we save the time of the nurses. And then so we can have more time with the patient on the bedside. Okay, here I just want to see the satisfaction rate for the patient is all increased, more than 88 or 90. And we also save more and more time. And then we share these to uh, firing uh, hospital visiting and then some I think before the sharing, uh, with the sharing, we also learn from the foreign uh, visitors. Finally, I want to talk about the nursing prayer book because we, is a, we are a Christian hospital and then the patient came to the hospital. They are, most of them are very pressured and then stressed. So when they ask us to pray, so we also made a prayer book for the nursing staff. So now we pray for not just the patient, but also for the nursing staff. And we also have a, it's like a diary for our route. So we can write down our feelings, our stories, especially uh, tw more, almost 20 years of uh, the SARS and two years, uh, these two years for the COVID-19. Actually, we have all the book on the off nursing floor. So the nurse can write down their story and write down their st stress to the release. And we also pray and then do some uh, retreat. And then so after work, we can see and it's a blessing to be a nurse. And what is a nurse? This is how I feel uh, in the year 2002. A nurse has a calling from God. These are talking from Nindingale, but also a nurse very special. We can make people feel comfort, calm and hope. And we also can improve the healing process. Most of all, we also, the nurse have strong commitment and to love the people. And all of you, the audience now on the air, I know uh, you are a very special person because you are a nurse. I think there is many, many good story, uh, good nurse story. So whenever you know, write down as soon as possible and share to all the person you know, because it's make people recognize our professional value. To be, be a nurse, the nursing is start from love. When love is deep enough, nursing has begun. Here's a story about a cancer, um, lung cancer um, pregnant woman. After she gave the birth, uh, childbirth, she need to do some chemotherapy. So she cannot do, provide the breast uh, self milk. So we, our nurse, she also has just have a kid. So she share her breast milk to the kids. So the mom was very uh, touched and also she said she don't feel regret and then she, uh, she knows she has done all the possible to the little boy. Treat patient as our family members is our value. Patient-centered care and then if you exceed patient expectation, you will get the patient's appreciation. For, from the Bible, it's very uh, not simple, but it's basic of uh, think 
spirit of nursing care. Whenever we know the patient needs, we just provide、uh, what they need. So especially when they are sick, we will look after the people. Okay. Finally, I'll give you some take home message. Technology always comes from human nature. Science and technology is a, only a tool to improve clinical workflow, but we have to develop a safe and comprehensive clinical nursing care. And don't be afraid. Whenever there is a crisis, there is also a chance. Never give up, but keep trying and be creative. And sharing is very important. Teaching and learning are simultaneously happening. And、uh, go abroad if you have a chance. Go abroad because you can see many different country, different nursing care, and this this is also will enrich your nursing career. And we are writing our own nursing history every day, and we want to keep a safety hospital not just for the patient but also for the nursing staff.、Uh, especially, we see our responsibility again in the needs of the patient and the family. But we also see the value of nursing, the meaningful life of ourselves, from our responsibilities. Okay, here's my sharing, and then the last one in the year 2020. It's the year of midwifery and the nursing, and then also from the Bible says,、uh, when they, the Lord says, "Who will come?"、Uh, remember, we will answer. Here I am, send me. So the I will, the mission of a nurse is very very important. So we support nursing now activities, and then、uh, wish everybody happy and peaceful, and God bless you. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doctor Shah.、Uh, today we don't have the experience only、uh, customer centric, so it's only but we can recall our position. We are nurse and what we need to do and what we have to play a role. And from your introduction is. It is sparking,、uh, is wake up my nurse spirit in myself. I have to join the the campaign. I will because、uh, from this time and I think because of COVID nineteen or、uh, some work overload that make our ourselves exhausted. But anyway. You have you share your experience. You share a positive thinking, and I think、uh, on the participant here, we、we'll、get some positive energy from you. Actually, I this is my second time that I heard about the love story of skin gap, and it is passionate and is always touching in my heart, in my mind. But I saw the sign of CCH. Can you explain more? Because it has a good meaning as well for us. The 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 logo of CCH. Uh, actually, the logo of CCH Hospital. Uh, our hospital is the, um, Jesus uh wash the uh feet for the disciples. So it means humble uh serving, and then so for example, the teacher will wash. The feet for the、uh, the students, or when we as a nurse we wash, we do a、um, bed bathing for the patients. So it means that、uh, we will provide service to the poor, to the、uh, lower,、uh, the every patients, or even the small kids. So this is very important for our hospital. All the staff in our hospital have to, has to learn to be humble and still.、Uh, Observe very clearly and details of all the patients' needs. Thank you for asking that. Thank yes, you. Yes, that I, I I love this meaning. I love this logo. That's why I want、uh, you to share with our audience the innovation that that、uh, she present is all fit for the nurse position. That you can、uh, get some idea to. To、uh, create your innovation for your patient or for、uh, your nurse position that you、uh, should think about、uh, something should change about some service for 
the patient is alert. From the audience, I can see many, many young uh, faces. And I just want to encourage you, uh, actually, uh, like I said, I think every day in our nursing uh, clinical work, no matter in community or in the hospital, in age, any agency, I think we always have problems. And also sometimes we feel it's uh, very tough for us, but just think in positive way. Um, because even there is some accidents, like I say, many of our innovation actually is from problems or accidents report and or medical errors, for example, for we, we have medical errors and then actually our frontline nurses, our young generation, they keep asking why. You have to keep asking why, why, why we have done this way. And then is there another way we can do or any um, thing we can uh, improve. So actually, um, many young nurses, when they asking or they suggest, or even the complaining from the patient or the family members, sometimes we feel frustrated. Uh, we think we are doing uh, already done so much, but still, um, it's like we say, uh, it's a pearl, um, pearl from, from the sea. Uh, each complaint or each suggestion actually is really a, a big chance for us to do some improvement. And also not just, I still have to say again, not for just for the patient safety, but also for the nursing staff employee safety also. And remember one day we will become patient ourselves or become patients family members ourselves. So how if there is a chance, we will um, make our hospital or our agency as much safer as possible. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have a question from Kun Sarochalak, please. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, uh, uh, Dr. Doctor. I am Sarochalak from Ubolachatani province of Thailand. Uh, today, I, uh, I it's my pleasure to be here with you, and I also to impress uh, that uh, I saw your uh, your presentation, and uh, you you have uh, impressed when you uh, present, and I too impressed too. But uh, I want to know. I would like to know uh, how you enhance uh, your uh, your your young nurse to be compassion with you, sir. Please uh, explain for me. So you you mean how and how how we do make the environment to encourage them to do compassionate, right? Yes, and okay. how how you have a strategy for uh, to enhance your young nurse to to be uh to be compassion, to be love, uh, the patient, something like this. Okay. Um, like I said, we have um, many good story for the newcomer when they came to the hospital for the uh, newcomer education program. We will share, like I share those stories. And then each day in their clinical, we also have, um, we call it praise card. If they did something good, then we will uh, in, enforce them um, very soon. And then they also will uh, get the uh, certification uh, card back from the family members. So I think it's very important to share the love story. That's why I say, um, I know in the clinical, sometimes we, we, we say negative things also, but we have to, uh, try to save more, much more positive things, and especially love stories. It's very important, and then not not just for the ski graft. It's happened uh, already many few, many 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 years ago. But actually, I I encourage and also share our uh, younger nurse say every day when they did a small thing, even it's a small thing, just like for example, give a direction, or even when they transfer for the patients, or they just accompany the patient, just sit beside the patients, and then it's all very important. So that's how we make uh, make our 
uh, it's like a culture for loving. And then I, I, I can only say when I came, I learned, and maybe it's not really uh, you teach them uh, how to love, but because you see many people done in that way, so you learn how to uh, accompany person or accompany patient or saying good things to the patients. So you learn because you are in the culture part. So I have to say, why I have to say the inherited is very important because love is also learned from every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, may I have the last question from the, the chat box uh, from Lee. I'm not quite sure I'm pronounced correctly or not. Lee, yeah. She's a PhD student uh, from Prince Songkai University. She okay. wants to ask a question about communication with cancer patient. Can you share some skill of communication? Um, actually, I think for the cancer patient still, because they need a hope. I think they need a hope for uh, the future uh, care planning. So uh, the most important thing I think is active listening. Listen to what the patients say, uh, no matter from the patient or the uh, family, what they worry about and then, or what they want to do, they didn't have a chance to do. So if we heard what their wishes, then we will try to uh, listen, but and we also help to make the wishes come true if we can have the chance to do it. We will try our best. And then not just for our, I have to uh, also say, not just our nurse, our own self. Remember to, to invite all your healthcare team. For, for example, you have social workers, you have uh, pharmacists, you have nutritionists. So for cancer patient, they also, we have spiritual like pastor. I don't know in your country, maybe you also have some spiritual personnel we can cooperate them all together to provide the needs from the cancer patient. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, and this is uh, my additional, what I get from uh, Dr. Chang today. Uh, just communicate with love and communicate with the positive thinking, what with positive word, and it will be a good result of that communication. So it's a thumbs up. So. Uh, I would like to thank you, Dr. Chang Su Chen, and also Dr. Nina Gao, who fully support from this program. Uh, and we are a good relationship with the, with the decision of nursing. Maybe in the future, we can extend this program into the international program uh, mm -hmm. and recruit the participant from ASEAN, ASEAN country to join this program with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you.